Hello and welcome to Wagner's Tech Talk. Now that we have HDMI output support on our G350, many have been wondering what type of wireless controls I can use. In this video, I'll show you one solution that seems to work fairly well, and you can decide if it's right for you. Let's get started. I just want to quickly make you aware if you go to wagnerstechtalk.com and then move down to the retro handhelds to the RG350 tips page and scroll down just a little bit down to the table of contents here you'll see right below the HDMI output support wireless keyboard options if you click that it'll take you to this informational page where it'll show you exactly what you need in order to use this keypad as well as the type of adapter you'll need in order to get it working. Additionally, there's some setup information here and how to hook it up and a very important key chart that I think you'll be interested in. It shows you all the keys and buttons and what they do. Okay, so let's jump into the setup. First off, I want to let you know the buttons are not configurable. That's why I created the chart to make it easier to remember what they are. Next, we'll take the back cover off, revealing the receiver. It just has a standard USB-A connector on it. We'll now reinstall the back cover. And you'll need a USB Type-C to Type-A adapter, such as this one. And go ahead and plug in the receiver. And of course, your RG350. Go ahead and plug it into the USB-1 port on the left-hand side. And I presume you're going to want to hook this up to your TV or monitor, so go ahead and plug in your HDMI output and go ahead and power on your RG350. We're not quite done with the setup. Next, we need to take the controller and turn it on. And voila, you can now navigate the menu on your RG350. <laughs> Pretty cool. It might be handy to have a copy of the button mappings nearby until you memorize them. There is a mini USB adapter with a pass-through that comes with the keypad. So you can go ahead and charge it and another device, let's say your RG350. Next, let's take a look at the controls. As you can see, you can navigate the tabs, you can navigate the icons, you can hit the control key here to select a game, hit the control, it's the same thing as pressing the A button. And again, these buttons are not configurable, so you can't match it up exactly how you want it. However, you can also, in the Stella emulator, use the touchpad to navigate the menu here. Of course, press A, B, X, or Y uh, using the associated button mapping equivalent. But the good news is you can play games using this. Let's go ahead and fire up another game here. Donkey Kong Country. It's one I like to experiment with on new devices. And as you can see here, you can play as Donkey Kong, or if you can find the right button, Diddy Kong. <laughs> I'm not saying this is the perfect solution for a wireless controller. It certainly is not. However, it is an option, which is something we haven't had up until now, so that's always a good thing. You can also exit your menu right from the keypad and navigate any of the options in the menu. And of course, we can just go down to exit and press the Control or A button to exit the emulator. Now we'll go ahead and try Gran Turismo. And on this one, I'm pressing the Alt key in order to access the accelerator. If this had a joystick on the left-hand side and configurable buttons, this would be pretty darn awesome. But even as it is today, it's pretty cool. I could probably get used to it for games that require very few buttons. 
for the next test, I wanted to make sure that we could stand back far enough away from the RG350 to make this controller worthwhile. So I went 11 feet away. Actually, it was closer to 12, but I'm going to say 11 feet because that's what it says here on the measuring tape. And I had the portable monitor set up on my workbench, and I went ahead and captured the video on the HDMI capture device so you could see it closer up while I was playing instead of the little screen that's going to be all blurry and you wouldn't be able to see it. But anyway, I was able to play Galaga just fine, uh, which was pretty interesting because I could not see the bullets. <laughs> so I got out a few times too, but it was a lot of fun and the controller was very responsive. I have no issues with that whatsoever. Like I mentioned earlier, it would be great if this had a little joystick or, you know, something similar to what we're used to on the RG350, but it doesn't. It is what it is, and I just wanted to make you aware that it exists. And if you are interested, definitely check out the tips page, the RG350 tips page, and check out the details. If I learn any more about this keyboard, I will update the page. If you have any comments of your own or experiences of your own, please comment below, and I will update the tips page with whatever information you've come up with. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please click the like button. If you want to see more from Wagner's Tech Talk, please click the subscribe. And with that, I shall talk to you very soon.